Carol Kapik, Czech, Karl Tapke Listen, 9 January 1890 to 25 December 1938, a Czech writer of the early 20th century, filled multiple roles during his career, including those of playwright, dramatist, essayist, publisher, literary reviewer, photographer, and art critic. He has become best known for his science fiction, including his 1936 novel War with the Newts and 1920 play R.U.R. Rossum's Universal Robots, which introduced the word robot. He also wrote many politically charged works dealing with the social turmoil of his time. Influenced by American pragmatic liberalism, he campaigned in favor of free expression and strongly opposed the rise of both fascism and communism in Europe. Though nominated for the Nobel Prize in Literature seven times, Kapik never won it. However, several awards commemorate his name, such as the Carol Kapik Prize, awarded every other year by the Czech Pen Club for literary work that contributes to reinforcing or maintaining democratic and humanist values in society. He also played a key role in establishing the Czechoslovak Pen Club as a part of international pen. Kapik died on the brink of World War II as the result of a lifelong medical condition, but his legacy as a literary figure became well established after the war. Life Early life and education Karol Kapik was born in 1890 in the Bohemian mountain village of Malay Svatonovice. However, six months after his birth, the Kapik family moved to their own house in Upis. His father, Antonin Kapik, worked as a doctor at the local textile factory. Antonin was a very energetic person, apart from his work as a doctor, he also co-funded the local museum and was a member of the town council. Despite opposing his father's materialist and positivist views, Karol Kapik loved and admired his father, later calling him a good example of the generation of national awakeners. Karol's mother, Bazina Kapkova, was a homemaker. Unlike her husband she did not like life in the country and she suffered from long-term depressions. Despite that, she assiduously collected and recorded local folklore, such as legends, songs or stories. Carol was the youngest of three siblings. He would maintain an especially close relationship with his brother Joseph, a highly successful painter, living and working with him throughout his adult life. His sister, Helena, was a talented pianist who later became a writer and published several memoirs about Carol and Joseph. After finishing elementary school in Upis, he moved with his grandmother to Haradets Kralove, where he attended high school. Two years later, he was expelled for taking part in an illegal students' club. Kapik later described the club as a very non murderous anarchist society. After this incident he moved to Brno with his sister and attempted to finish high school there, but two years later he moved again, to Prague, where he finished high school at the Academic Grammar School in 1909. During his teenage years Kapik became enamored with the visual arts, especially Cubism, which influenced his later writing. After graduating from high school, he studied philosophy and aesthetics in Prague at Charles University, but he also spent some time at the Friedrich Wilhelm University in Berlin and at the Sorbonne in Paris. While he was still a university student, he wrote some works on contemporary art and literature. He graduated with a doctorate of philosophy in 1915. <laughs> World War I and interwar period Exempted from military service due to the spinal problems that would haunt him his whole life, Kapik observed World War I from Prague. His political views were strongly affected by the war, and as a budding journalist he began to write on topics like nationalism, totalitarianism and consumerism. Through social circles, the young author developed close relationships with many of the political leaders of the nascent Czechoslovak state, including Tomas Garig Masaryk, Czechoslovak patriot and the first president of Czechoslovakia, and his son Jan, who would later become foreign secretary. T. G. Masaryk was a regular guest at Kapik's Friday Men. Garden parties for leading Czech intellectuals. Kapik was also a member of Masaryk's HRAD political network. Their frequent conversations on various topics later served as the basis for Kapik's talks with T. G. Masaryk. Kapik began his writing career as a journalist. With his brother Joseph, he worked as an editor for the Czech paper Narodny Listy the national newspaper from October 1917 to April 1921. 
Upon leaving, he and Joseph joined the staff of Lidave Novini the People's Paper in April 1921. Kapik's early attempts at fiction were short stories and plays for the most part written with his brother Joseph. Kapik's first international success was R.U.R., a dystopian work about a bad day at a factory populated with sentient androids. The play was translated into English in 1922, and was being performed in the UK and America by 1923. Throughout the 1920s, Kapik worked in many writing genres, producing both fiction and non-fiction, but worked primarily as a journalist. In the 1930s, Kapik's work focused on the threat of brutal national socialist and fascist dictatorship. By the mid-1930s, Kapik had become an outspoken anti-fascist. He also became a member of International Pen and established, and was the first president of, the Czechoslovak Pen Club. Late life and death In 1935 Karol Kapik married actress Olga Scheinflugova, after a long acquaintance. In 1938 it became clear that the Western Allies, namely France and the United Kingdom, would fail to fulfill the pre-war agreements, and they refused to defend Czechoslovakia against Nazi Germany. Although offered the chance to go to exile in England, Kapik refused to leave his country, even though the Nazi Gestapo had named him public enemy number two. While repairing flood damage to his family's summer house in Stara Hut, he contracted a common cold. As he had suffered all his life from spondyloarthritis and was also a heavy smoker, Carol Kapik died of pneumonia. On 25 December 1938, surprisingly, the Gestapo was not aware of his death. Several months later, just after the German invasion of Czechoslovakia, Nazi agents came to the Kapik family house in Prague to arrest him. Upon discovering that he had already been dead for some time, they arrested and interrogated his wife Olga. His brother Joseph was arrested in September and eventually died in the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp in April 1945. Karol Kapik and his wife are buried at the Vyseherad Cemetery in Prague. The inscription on the tombstone reads, Here would have been buried Joseph Kapik, painter and poet. Grave far away. Writing Carol Kapik wrote with intelligence and humor on a wide variety of subjects. His works are known for their interesting and precise description of reality. Kapik is renowned for his excellent work with the Czech language. He is known as a science fiction author, who wrote before science fiction became widely recognized as a separate genre. Many of his works also discuss ethical aspects of industrial inventions and processes already anticipated in the first half of the 20th century. These include mass production, nuclear weapons and intelligent artificial beings such as robots or androids. His most productive years were during the First Republic of Czechoslovakia 1918-1938. Kapik also expressed fear of social disasters, dictatorship, violence, human stupidity, the unlimited power of corporations, and greed. Kapik tried to find hope, and the way out. From the 1930s onward, Kapik's work became increasingly anti-fascist, anti-militarist, and critical of what he saw as irrationalism. Ivan Klima, in his biography of Kapik, notes his influence on modern Czech literature, as well as on the development of Czech as a written language. Kapik, along with contemporaries like Yaroslav Hasek, spawned part of the early 20th century revival in written Czech thanks to their decision to use the vernacular. Klima writes. It is thanks to Kapik that the written Czech language grew closer to the language people actually spoke. Kapik was also a translator, and his translations of French poetry into the language inspired a new generation of Czech poets. His other books and plays include detective stories, novels, fairy tales, and theatre plays, and even a book on gardening. His most important works attempt to resolve problems of epistemology, to answer the question, What is knowledge? Examples include Tales from Two Pockets, and the first book of the trilogy of novels Hordubal, Meteor, and An Ordinary Life. He also co-wrote with his brother Joseph the libretto for Zdenek Folprex opera Lasky Hra Osudna in 1922. After World War II, Kapik's work was only reluctantly accepted by the communist government of Czechoslovakia, because during his life he had refused to accept communism as a viable alternative. He was the first in a series of influential non-Marxist intellectuals who wrote a newspaper essay in a series called Why I Am Not a Communist. 
In 2009, 70 years after his death, a book was published containing extensive correspondence by Carol Capic, in which the writer discusses the subjects of pacifism and his conscientious objection to military service with lawyer Yindrik Groag from Brno. Until then, only a portion of these letters were known. Arthur Miller wrote in 1990, I read Carol Capic for the first time when I was a college student long ago in the 30s. There was no writer like him. Prophetic assurance mixed with surrealistic humor and hard-edged social satire, a unique combination. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 he is a joy to read. Topic. Etymology of robot Carol Kapik introduced and made popular the frequently used international word robot, which first appeared in his play R.U.R. in 1920. While it is frequently thought that he was the originator of the word, he wrote a short letter in reference to an article in the Oxford English Dictionary Etymology in which he named his brother, painter and writer Joseph Kapik, as its actual inventor. In an article in the Czech journal Lidové Noviny in 1933, he also explained that he had originally wanted to call the creatures labori from Latin labor, work. However, he did not like the word, seeing it as too artificial, and sought advice from his brother Joseph, who suggested roboti robots in English. The word robot comes from the word robata. The word robata means literally, corvé, surf labor, and figuratively, drudgery, or hard work. In Czech, it also means work, labor. In Slovak, archaic Czech, and many other Slavic languages, e.g., Bulgarian, Russian, Serbian, Polish, Macedonian, Ukrainian, etc., it derives from the reconstructed Proto-Slavic word asterisk robota, meaning slave work. Cf. the German word for work, Arbeit. Topic: <laughs> Awards and honors. The asteroid 1931 Kapik, discovered by Lubos Kohotek, was named after him. Kapik received the Order of Tomas Garig Masaryk, in memoriam, in 1991. <laughs> <laughs> Selected works Plays <laughs> 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 1920 The Outlaw Lupeznik 1920 RUR Rasamuvi Universalni Roboti play with one of the first examples of artificial human like beings in art and literature 1921 Pictures from the Insect's Life Zizivo de Hamizu also known as the Insect Play or the Life of the Insects with Joseph Kapik a satire in which insects stand in for various human characteristics the flighty vain butterfly the obsequious self-serving dung beetle 1922 The Macropolis Affair Vec Macropolis play about human immortality, not really from a science fiction point of view. The celebrated opera by Leos Janáček is based on it. 1927 Adam the Creator Adam Saint Viridal, The titular hero tries to destroy the world and replace it with a better one. 1937 The White Disease Bila Nemok, earlier translated as Power and Glory. About the conflict between a pacifist doctor and the fascistic marshal. 1938 The Mother Matka. Topic. Novels 1922 The Absolute at Large novel which can be interpreted as a vision of consumer society. 1922 Krakatit, novel, the plot of which includes a prediction of a nuclear weapon-like explosive. 1933 Hordubal, first part of the Noetic Trilogy. 1934 Meteor, second part of the Noetic Trilogy. 1934 An Ordinary Life, third part of the Noetic Trilogy. 1936 War with the Newts Volka S. Malaki, satirical dystopian novel. 1939 Life and Work of the Composer Fulton Zivit Adilloskladatele Fultona Unfinished, published posthumously. <laughs> Topic. Travel books Letters from Italy Italske Listi, 1923 
Letters from England, Anglicae Listi, 1924. Letters from Spain, Violet du Spanel, 1930. Letters from Holland, Obraski z Holandska, 1932. Travels in the North, Sesta na Sever, 1936. Topic: Other works. Stories from a Pocket and Stories from Another Pocket a common name for a cycle of short detective stories 5 to 10 pages long that shared common attitude and characters, including The Last Judgment. How It Is Made Jack Say Co Della, satiric novels on the life of theater, newspaper and film studio. The Gardener's Year Rock, 1929, is exactly what it says it is, a year-round guide to gardening, charmingly written, with illustrations by his brother Joseph Kapik. Apocryphal Tales Niha 1932, second edition 1945 short stories about literary and historical characters, such as Hamlet, a struggling playwright, Pontius Pilate, Don Juan, Alexander arguing with his teacher Aristotle, and Sarah and Abraham attempting to name ten good people so Sodom can be saved. What do you have against Namuel? He's stupid but he's pious. Nine fairy tales, and one more thrown in for good measure. Devitero Pohadic a jest jedna od Josefa Kapka Jako Pravazic, 1932, a collection of fairy tales, aimed at children. Dashenka, or the life of a puppy. Dashenka Sili Zivit Stenit, 1933. The Shirts, short story. Topic selected bibliography the Absolute at Large, 1922 in Czech, 1927, The Macmillan Company, New York, translator uncredited. Also published June 1975, Garland Publishing ISBN 0-8240-1403-0, Apocryphal Tales, 1945 in Czech, May 1997, Catbird Press Paperback ISBN 0-945774-34-6, translated by Norma Comrada and Atomic Fantasy, Krakatit or Simply Krakatit, 1924 in Czech Believe in People, The Essential Carol Kapik, previously untranslated journalism and letters 2010. Faber and Faber, ISBN 9780571231962. Topic: Notes. Selected and translated with an introduction by Sharka Tobermanova Kunova, preface by John Carey. The Cheat. Allen and Onwin, 1941. Crossroads, 2002, Catbird Press, ISBN 0 945774 55 9, Cloth, 0 945774 54 0, Trade Paperback. Translation by Norma Comrada of Bozi Muka and Trapne Povidki. I Had a Dog and a Cat. Allen and Onwin, 1940. Nine Fairy Tales, and One More Thrown In For Good Measure, October 1996, Northwestern Univ Press Paperback Reissue Edition, ISBN 0-8101-1464-X. Illustrated by Joseph Kapik, translated by Dagmar Hermann Rur, March 1970, Pocket Books ISBN 0-671-46605-4 Four Tales from Two Pockets 1928-9 in Czech, 1994, Catbird Press Paperback, ISBN 0-945774-25-7. Translation by Norma Comrada. Talks with T. G. Masaryk nonfiction. Biography of T. G. Masaryk, founder of Czechoslovakia. Three novels, Hordubal, Meteor, An Ordinary Life, 1933-34, translated by M. and R. Weatherall, 1990, Catbird Press Toward the Radical Center, a Carol Kapik reader. Collection of stories, plays and columns. Edited by Peter Cousy, Catbird Press ISBN 0-945774-07-9 War with the Newts 1936 in Czech, May 1967, Berkeley Medallion Edition Paperback. Translated by M. and R. Weatherall, March 1990, Catbird Press Paperback, ISBN 0-945774-10-9, October 1996, Northwestern University Press Paperback ISBN 0-8101-1468-2. Another English translation by Ewald Osers ISBN 978-0-945774-10-5. Topic. See also Brothers Kapik 
Czech science fiction and fantasy. <laughs> 